how to add a shiplap wall to your home for less than $200. Check it out on today's Grain Report. So I'm Taylor Poole and this is The Grain Report. On today's episode we are going to be talking about how you can install a shiplap wall in your house to add a nice accent wall. For this project we are going to need a hammer, a brad nailer, a square, a stud finder, a measuring tape, 18 gauge brad nails that are an inch and a half long, 1x8 pine shiplap, 1x4 trim, a chop saw, pancake compressor, white paint, paint brushes, and a paint roller. So recently I bought this house back in December and we moved in and I'm really happy with the home and everything but there's a lot of really small things where the previous homeowners tried to make little minor upgrades or whatever and they, the homeowner just wasn't necessarily uh, the handiest. So what we're actually doing today, um, this is kind of a kind of a mud room area at the back by the garage. There's an area for people to sit down, put their shoes on, we clean it all out and whatnot. But if you notice they hung hooks up so that way they could do uh, backpacks and whatnot. Well, they didn't actually find the stud. Um, as you can tell, they tried to use these uh, these anchors that go into sheetrock, and they didn't do it in an effective manner. And they hung things on it that were too heavy, and so they have all torn out. So there's a nice little hole right here. Well, all of these hooks are nice and loose to hang a hook to hit the stud because you can easily do this. And now all of a sudden we have a new hole in my wall. <laughs> so what we are going to do instead of patching these, uh, because I don't want to take the time to do that, is I'm actually going to put in shiplap here. We're going to paint it white. We're going to make it real nice. And then after the fact, when it dries, we'll uh, reinstall the hooks later on. So um, this is the wall that I'm doing. If you'll notice, this wall is about um, 60 feet or 60 square feet. So you can do a little bit larger. This whole project start to finish with the trim, the nails, the paint, um, I mean, I owned all the tools, so I'm not calculating that in. So I own all the tools, so I didn't actually calculate that into this, but the material uh, for the shiplap and the paint out the door, this whole project is gonna be less than $200. Um, and that's, you know, purchasing it from Rocky, um, the paint I picked up at a local hardware store, but the wood um, and the, the trim. So we'll get this all lined out and you'll be able to see how we all do it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to find my studs on this wall. Um, anytime something's going to be covered up, I typically like to mark my stuff with a Sharpie. Um, and that's just because it's bigger, it's darker. You're going to be able to see it across the entire project. And so, um, I don't know, it's one of my personal things that I like to do. So I'm going to find my stud, my handy dandy stud finder. Apparently we have one right here. Okay, now once I mark one, I'm actually going to come down to the bottom. We're going to find the same stud down at the bottom. Okay, they frame this wall, right? So this is our one by eight pine shiplap. And so what's special about this, number one, is it's an appearance grade pine. It's smooth on both sides. So it's a true reversible product. You'll notice that. Nice and smooth and finished, nice and smooth and finished. And the reason we do this is because this, is, uh, this product can be sold either way. So if you'll notice over here, this kind of lap of the little lip, this one's a little bit smaller than this one, okay? So the way that we made this, and it's a custom product that we made for us, is that this can either be installed on one side where the board's butt tight, or it can be installed on the opposite side where there's a nickel, uh, they call it a nickel gap, or it's pretty much like a quarter inch gap. And so for mine, I'm gonna put it up there, but it's also known as a fine line shiplap. Both styles are fairly popular. It just kind of depends on what you're looking, but we made a product that allows you to use both sides. So just to cover this, um, so it's a one by eight, 
your nominal width of the board is right at seven inches after it's gone through all the molders. And then the face of the product is gonna be just under six and a half. So pretty much as far as this works, two boards is gonna give you um, a perfect square foot. And so then this product sells for three roughly $3 a square foot. We're setting up to cut this. The first thing that we wanna do is you wanna figure out which side you're going to install facing out. And that's because you wanna cut down through the face of the board. If you cut through the back, you're actually gonna get splinters um, on, your, on your end product. I believe this is a 80 tooth or 100 tooth uh, blade. This is just gonna make sure that we're getting the most clean and precise cuts possible on this, pro uh, on this install. The other thing uh, that when we're setting this up is no mill cuts these perfect. So you're never going to want to use this piece here um, unless you're putting it like on the exterior of a home. Or, um, and that's because sometimes mills can be slightly off. So what, what, anytime that we're going to cut something for a finished type job like we are in the house, I'm actually going to trim all my edges off before I actually measure things out. So that way I know I'm starting with a nice clean and square edge. As you can see, we've got all of the shiplap installed and I trimmed it out. Um, I tried to do it in a, a little bit more modern shaker style because I'm going to be doing a bunch more of these in my house. Cedar, our cedar trim, our pine shiplap, and then I'm going to be painting it with just an interior uh, latex white base paint to go with all the trim in my house. And yeah, so we're going to clean up and uh, before I do that, I'm going to caulk the edges just so it's a nice tight seal and then we'll repaint the, bank, uh, the bench as well. So we're all done. We started about two o'clock and it's about 5.30 right now. So only took about three, three and a half hours. As you can tell, this is pretty much done. We're gonna let the paint dry and then I'll put those hooks back in, but I'll go back and touch up the edges later on. Um, if you want a even smoother finish than what I've got, but you could always sand between coats. As you saw, we put on three coats and uh, I repainted the bench just to kind of clean it up and make it look nice. So uh, like I said, start to finish about 60 square feet, trimmed out, took Three and a half hours between the shiplap trim and the paint total cost out the door was a little bit underneath two hundred dollars it was 187 to be exact so um, nice little project if you were hiring a contractor to do this for you probably run somewhere in the range of i don't know somewhere between five and eight hundred dollars uh, depending on your specific wall but as you can tell it looks really nice provides a nice accent wall and it's going to be a great area for our kids to hang their coats and put their shoes and all that for years to come so once again thank you for tuning in to the grain report my name is taylor Poult, and that was today's episode